Times 5.30, I call this meeting of the Pittsburgh City Commission to order. Will you join me in a moment of silence for two firefighters that lost their lives yesterday in a fire in Kansas City? Would you join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Open the meeting to public input. Is there anyone that would like to come forward tonight and talk on anything they would like to talk at this point? Seeing none, I close the public input, move it to consent agenda. Are there any items to be removed? I'd like to remove item C. B? Mm -hmm. With the exception of item C, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Okay. Okay. Moved and second. Roll call vote. Gray? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Ketterman? Aye. Mansell? Aye. Mernan? Aye. Item C, Jeremy. I just wanted to pull it off so I could recuse myself since I'm an employee of Community Health Center. Move to approve. Second. All in favor of approving item C, say aye. 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 All against, same sign. Motion carries. <coughs> we have a public hearing tonight, a request to vacate the City of Pittsburgh advertised for public hearing. October 13, 2015, at the City Commission meeting, commemorating at 5.30 p.m. in the City Commission room located in Law Enforcement Center, 201 North Pine, for the purpose of vacating an alley in the 600 block of East Jackson Street, described as all that alley located between lots 1 through 11 and lots 12 through 22, all located in Block 2 of Bonview, addition to the City of Pittsburgh, Crawford County, Kansas. Good evening, uh, Mayor and Commissioners. Uh, in your packet, there was a map that shows uh, basically Miller's Professional Imaging has purchased uh, most of the property on the alley. Um, I talked to Jim Askins, who is here tonight as well. Um, as of today, there was only one property that they did not own in this entire block. Um, they are in the process of closing on that property, which they thought it would be closed today, but it's probably going to be tomorrow before it closes. Um, before... Um, they were looking at purchasing that property. Um, they had all, they had made um, uh, come to come to agreement with the owner that they were going to leave part of the alley paved for them. But since they are now going to be owning the property, that they they were wishing to vacate the alley. Um, they're as like I said, they're probably expanding their parking at some point later, and they're also leaving an area kind of a grass buffer between the the street and then the houses across the street. So. Um, like I said, we had the hearing was held, or we had a, hear, a hearing, planning and zoning meeting back in September. Um, uh, like I said, the uh, planning and zoning commission passed it. Uh, there was one member that basically did not vote to approve because he would like to have seen all the properties purchased on both sides of the alley. So, since then, that owner had approached them, and they have, they were in the process of purchasing the ha purchasing that house as well. So they will basically own all the property around the alley. Uh, we would like to leave it as an e a utility easement since there are, I think there's a sewer line that runs through there currently. So. Any questions for Troy? Is any people here speaking against this? Go ahead and open the hearing. Open, oh, open the hearing for anyone to speak in favor or against this request. Seeing none, I close the public hearing and... Um, I move to approve the request to vacate. Second. Then a motion to approve and second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion, <coughs> motion carries. Thank you. Consider the following. An ordinance number S-1029. Consider ordinance S-1029 levying, levying an additional sales retail City retail sales tax in amount of one quarter of one percent within the city of Pittsburgh, effective April first, two thousand sixteen. Any discussion? 
I just I just want to clarify this again that the word additional kind of makes it sound like we're trying to tax something else on this is just the continuation of the tax that we already have in place That's it's correct. not an additional tax so I just want to make sure that gets out into the public <laughs> So we're not all getting phone calls tomorrow. And to be very clear, this is the tax that they voted on. They voted the past on. 82%. Yes, I was going to say that yeah. there was a vote. It moved to approve. Is there a second? It moved to approve and second it. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Ordinance number S-1030. Considering ordinance number S-1030, authorizing consent to the assignment of certain lease between the city as Les Leasor and HI1 Pittsburgh LLC as leasee, whereby said leasee transfers its lease holding hold interest in the Holiday Inn Express Hotel to Pittsburgh Hospitality LLC as a signee. Issuance of its taxable industrial revenue bond series 2015 Holiday Inn Express project in for the purpose of paying a portion of the cost of assignee's acquisition of such leasehold interest and execution of additional documents necessary or desirable to affect the transex transaction contemplated hereby Blake quite a mouthful thank you mr. mayor <laughs> uh, this is a follow-up to an item we brought you uh, three weeks ago uh, new owners of the Holiday Inn Express have uh, requested that the IRB that's on the the property be uh, transferred to them uh, it, it locks in some more favorable financing terms uh, you approved the resolution of intent a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago. Uh, but in the meantime, the city's bond council, Kim Bell, has been preparing the, the official legal, legal documents uh, for your consideration. Uh, we do have uh, Jared Turnbull with RVS Bank, who is financing uh, the, the transaction. Uh, he's been involved in the process. Uh, we've been in extensive meetings with the new owners of the Holiday Inn Express, uh, but we bring those documents to you tonight uh, formally for your consideration. No additional liability on the city's part. Uh, simply what this does is just transfer that IRB. Is there any discussion? Is there a motion to approve? Is there a second? It's been moved and approved. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Holiday Inn Express funding request consider the recommendation of Economic Development Advisory Committee to, to provide funding to Pittsburgh Hospitality, LLC. The new owners of the Holiday Inn Express, located at 4011 North Parkview Drive in the amount of 350000 from the revolving loan fund to offset costs associated with remodeling the facility with up to 100000 of this amount to be forgiven if Pittsburgh Hospitality LLC builds and opens a Denny restaurant within two years. Blake, you pretty well said it there, Mr. Mayor. These, uh, this loan would help offset uh, required improvements that are being asked of the, the new owners of the Holiday Inn Express. Uh, the recommendation from the EDAC is a $350,000 loan to be repaid over seven years. Uh, but because they do have those Denny's interest, and that's something that our retail feasibility study indicated that our community needed, the recommendation from the EDAC is that if they build a, a Denny's within two years, that essentially we would forgive $50,000 of that loan up front. Uh, uh, upon opening of the Denny's and the additional 50,000 would be on the back end at the end of seven years provided that the Denny's is still in business at the end of seven years that wasn't reflected in my memo I apologize for that uh, but the recommendation is for $350,000 loan repaid over seven years 3.25 percent interest uh, with the potential to have hundred thousand dollars of it forgiven if the new ownership opens a Denny's within two years and I, I think I want to point out that uh, they have a number of Denny's they have 18 locations uh, across the country uh, so they have a lot of experience with the Denny's franchise and have looked at Pittsburgh we've shown them our retail study they feel like it's a good market for them uh, so we wanted to make that a part of the motion as well to incentivize that additional investment in our community approximately how many jobs would be created with the opening Denny's and the average wage for per job I don't have those numbers mayor could you get I, that? I can certainly get those yes sir thanks have they made a commitment to do the Denny's or, or no, do they understand that the that the, the forgiveness would just be based off of yes, sir. that they, they do okay. 
Originally, they were just looking at the Holiday Inn Express. Uh, when we investigated them a little deeper and saw their relationship with Denny's, uh, we, we broached the subject, again, because it's something um, that our retail feasibility study had indicated. At that time, they started looking at, at Pittsburgh to, to make that additional investment. Uh, so that's when the, the EDAC started considering adding that extra um, incentive for that added investment in terms of a Denny's. But they, they haven't identified a location yet. So they didn't sell, they didn't sell no. that as a? No, absolutely okay. not. Completely separate. Okay. The basic 350 loan, 350 good term, loan. seven years, and if they happen to bring a Denny's, we'll forgive. Right. And if not, but if they, they don't, they, they repay all of it. If they don't, it's just a $350,000 for correct loan. <coughs> Any other questions for Blake? Yes, sir. Second. 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 Can move to approve and second it. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. <coughs> Motion carries. Thank you, Blake. He's still there. Yes, <laughs> One more. Yeah. I'm sorry, you have to listen to me so much. Canair Eye Care Funding Request. Consider the recommendation of the Economic Development Advisory Committee to provide funding to Canair Eye Care in the amount of $17,000 from the revolving loan fund to offset infrastructure costs associated with the expansion of the facility located at 2521 North Broadway. Uh, Kennar Eye Care is in the middle of a significant expansion. It's about a half million dollar investment on the company's part. Uh, this not only adds another eye doctor, uh, but also adds uh, support staff to Kennar Eye Care. Uh, again, about a $500,000 investment. The, the request from Kennar Eye Care was for $17,000 to help with that project and, and the, the magic number that that is. Uh, would keep them below a 90%, I want to make sure I get the terminology, loan-to-value point uh, with their loan, which locks a, a significantly better interest rate if the loan is less than 90% of the total value of the project. Uh, so that $17,000 would be a one-time investment by the city to support a growing uh, medical facility. Of course, it's one of our goals to continue growing our medical sector, uh, particularly with them being higher-paying jobs and the support staff that they bring. So the recommendation from the EDAC is a $17,000 investment into uh, the expansion of Canar Eye Care. you have any questions? Any commitments tied to that? Not as part of the official motion, no. Blake, would you said you said something about percentage in the bank? I'm, yes, I, I it, that. yes, it keeps them below ninety percent. I think the terminology is loan to value point. Does that make any sense, Jared? I'll ask the banker in the room. Ninety percent loan to value, meaning the the value of the loan is less than ninety percent of the total project gotcha. value. Okay, and this so, helps them get there. Correct. Gotcha. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. It's a significant uh, out of pocket expense for Canar Eye Care. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any further questions for Blake? Moved to approve. I'll second. And moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you, very Thank much. you Blake. Thanks, Blake. Great work. License agreement. Aztec System City Works. Staff is requesting authorization to enter into a license agreement with Aztec System Inc. for City Works software. Jay. Hi, uh, Mayor Commissioners. Um, the, uh, this is a uh, asset management system uh, that we, uh, we had an aborted attempt with last year with a different vendor. I went through a very uh, painstaking process this time, very careful. Um, uh, uh, the, really, the reason we were, we, we, approached, we were looking for an asset management system in the first place was we were looking for ways to you know, continually improve the, the performance of, of, of work done here with the city. And the only way to do that is to have a system that collects the work, man, helps manage the work, and tracks it. Uh, and that's what this system represents. Um, we're, we're also looking for a system that can do this on an enterprise level, not just for one particular department or something. It can do it citywide, and this system does that as well. Uh, what, what you have in front of you are actually two, uh, or, or two contracts. One is for the implementation of the system, and one is for the actual purchase of the software. Okay. So um, Azteca system is, this, is the, for the software. Okay. That's, that's the ordinance that we're currently talking about right now. Um, what the system will do, um, it, will, uh, um, it, it, it will keep an inventory of all our assets, and our assets are sections of, 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 of pipe, of, of equipment, anything you can imagine, HVAC system. Those are all assets that the city owns. It will keep an inventory of all those. It will also keep, be able to keep a hierarchy of that asset. If there's components within that asset, pieces of it, they, they will all, will all uh, um, go up into an entire asset. 
So that's that's a big that's a big deal. Another important part of this system is that it's, uh, it is tied into our GIS, our geographic information system. So we need to know not only you know all the information about the particular asset, but also where it is physically located. Um, in fact, the company we chose actually the owner of the company we chose is actually on the board of our GIS systems, uh, software system company. So they're very tightly integrated. These two these two uh, these two uh, companies. Um, it also does basic uh, work management, builds up your tasks for associated with each kind of work that's done. Um, it manages, it creates work orders and generates work orders so we can track all the work that's done against those work orders. Um, it, it has a, a very strong field access component so, we, so the people who are doing the work can actually do, you know, enter information in from the field while they're working. It saves a lot of time from having to go back and put information in after you've done the work. Um, it, and it also, of course, has a very strong preventive maintenance program, too, as well, which is one of the things we've been trying to achieve. We get out in front of the, uh, the work, you know, try to fix it before it breaks down based on various parameters that, are, that we can enter into the system. So it really is the kind of system that we were hoping to, to have, and it's going to be a system that we use in the future to manage all the work that the city does. So, um, um, well, anyway, that, that, that's the system we're, that, that's in front of you. That's the, that's the uh, software that we're buying. Any question for Jay? Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. second. Been moved and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Professional Service Agreement, New Ed Services, LLC. Staff are requesting authorization to enter into a professional service agreement with New Ed Services, LLC, for the purchase and installment of asset management work or order system in the amount not to exceed $75,800. Jay. Um, this is the actual second contract that's related. This is for the actual implementation of the software. Uh, the company itself, uh, CityWorks, does not actually do the implementations of their software. They actually have been working with a group uh, to, to do their implementations nationwide. They have two or three groups that they work with very closely and have been doing so for a long time. But one of the reasons why it took so long for us to pull this all together is the group uh, that, that we're working with for this particular contract was actually part of an, a larger consulting group, and they actually broke off and created their own business, and we had to, you know, vet them, make sure that they were, you know, competent and strong and, and, and still had the good relationships with CityWorks, and they did. Uh, um, so they're, uh, they're, the company, they're the company that's going to come in and walk us through the implementation. We've identified Pat Walker is going to be our project manager on our side, so we'll have a city project manager, major contact, and um, we're going to start... Uh, probably doing some initial planning as soon as we can. If not this week, we'll just start doing initial planning next week. And this is the group that we're going to be working with uh, directly. Jay, how long's implementation period? It's going to be six months. All right, you got six months. And oh, the other thing that I we're going to start with uh, the wastewater wastewater operations. All right, that's we're going to start with that area first. Um, hopefully, you know, we won't need any additional consulting fees to to, to deploy it to other parts of the city but there's a possibility we'll need some uh, more help from this new edge company that we're working on. So I may, depending on you know, how we go and, and how we learn through this next process of implementation through the wastewater operations, you may see, you may see some more implementation costs. Any other questions? Any annual fee associated with that day? The software, uh, not for the implementation, but for the, uh, that's a one-time cost, but for the software, it's a, it, the actual op, the actual software that, that that we're buying, the CityWorks software, has a a, a new kind of a purchasing procedure that you're, we're seeing in a lot more software. Uh, typically, in, in, when you bought when you bought software in the past, you bought you paid a whole bunch of money up front and then you paid a maintenance fee. The, the, there's a much more subscription like fee that, that software companies are using nowadays, and it's it's we bought a, a flat fee for thirty thousand dollars a year for for this software. So there's no upfront money that we're spending, but we are paying thirty thousand dollars a year for the software. For three years is for indefinitely, indefinitely, as long as we use it. Any other questions for Jay? Move to approve. Thank you. Been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. To approve. Aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. <coughs> Motion carries. Thanks, Jay. Bob Jay. Conditional mm -hmm. use request. The Planning Zoning Commission in its meeting of September 28, 2015, voted unanimously to recommend to the governing body approval of a request submitted by Charles Watson for conditional use under the provisions of Article 30 of the Planning and Zoning Ordinance to allow chickens to be housed at his residence 
located at 1017 East 4th Street. Uh, Mayor and Commissioners, um, as our zoning regulations state, there's uh, certain there's certain things that don't fall on the normal regulations, so we have conditional uses where we can actually look at the, the area around it, the, the neighborhood, and see what's acceptable or not. This happens with cell phone towers, churches, you know, there's a lot of different things we see, parks as well. Uh, one of those items is the, the keeping of chickens within the city. Um, uh, per our regulations, you have to have an acre of land. If you don't have an acre of land, then it has to go... Uh, be, be sought as a conditional use permit. So uh, in our meeting in, in September, um, we had a conditional use hearing with the Planning and Zoning Board. Um, Mr. Watson was present at the meeting. He was present in the audience tonight if you have any questions. Um, there was no one there in opposition. Um, there, he actually, there was the four to five of the neighbors around him actually sent letters of support. Um, I went out and visited uh, where he keeps them. I don't know, I couldn't, there was no smell. Everything was clean. I, you couldn't even tell he had them if you, unless you were looking. So um, uh, at that meeting, the, the Planning and Zoning Board did vote unanimously to approve and recommend it to the City Commission for approval for conditional use. So, you have any more? Uh any question for Troy or for Mr. Watson? Is there a motion to approve? Move. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same side. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you, Troy. Thanks, Troy. Yep. Any non agenda reports and requests? I believe Blake wanted to go again. All right. <laughs> I haven't had enough time up here. Uh, just very briefly, Mr. Mayor, I wanted to, to make sure the public was aware that uh, a week from tonight, or actually a week from today, it'll be a lunch meeting, uh, the fourth annual Pittsburgh Area Economic Outlook Conference, uh, especially if, uh, if you enjoy discussing not only our local economy, but our regional and state economies as well. Uh, this will be held at Memorial Auditorium. Again, it's the fourth year we've collaborated with uh, the Barton School of Business from Wichita State and the Kells College of Business at Pittsburgh State. Uh, they do five of these around the state, and consistently, ours has always been the biggest. And we're competing against communities like Salina and Hayes and Dodge City. Uh, so I would invite anybody from the, the community that is interested in coming to that, call the city. I can give them the, the information on that. Uh, but RSVPs are required, so we would ask that they call pretty quickly. Uh, but, again, they can just call the city and get more information on that. One week from today, uh, 11.45 to 2 o'clock p.m. Thank What's you much. The fee? fee is $75, but includes your lunch. Thank you, That's all we got. All right. One other thing, just nope. a reminder, is it Friday uh, badges and burgers out of the fire department for anybody? It is. <coughs> and we will be cooking burgers starting at 11, Tammy. Yes. Okay. And uh, five bucks for the cookie. I mean, tell me what's in it. Cause I, we... A hamburger, a cheeseburger, or two hot dogs, chips, a cookie, and a drink. And everything goes to United Way, so please come out. and Fire station. Fire station. Okay. Fire Station 1. <laughs> All right. Out. Very good. We've scheduled an executive session at this time. An executive session is necessary for discussion regarding personal matters of non-elected personnel. Is there a motion to recess and to executive session for approximately 60 minutes to discuss for a discussion regarding personal matters of non-elected personnel? Move. Second. Move and second to... Uh, Go into executive session for approximately 60 minutes. All those in favor, All those in favor say aye. Aye. All, aye. All those opposed, yeah. same time. Patrick? <coughs> I'll get it down before.
We can do it. Session, no votes were taken, no decisions were made. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? All in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Aye, thank you. See you. Have a good night. Good night.